And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night Chef. Chef. Whatever the problem is, we all need to drop it now. It's got to be clean slate starting tomorrow. Yes, I'm feeling like, yes. Robin's gone, and I've been waiting so long. I am uh, doing cartwheels on the inside. Tomorrow needs to start new. Moving forward, we just, uh, we only have five. We need to. We got to come together. Yeah. We just have, we have to. Can we all get a beer and toast that shit? While the red team happily shrugs off the past, on the blue team, well, we're gonna kick some ass. You know, I work better with fucking boys. Robin is fired up about the future. I'm fucking on the blue team where I wanna be on the blue team. At least the boys don't fucking walk in with their periods and don't have catty shit when they walk into the kitchen. Well, I'm just letting y'all know, I'm gonna fucking work twice as fast as him, twice as hard as you, twice as hard as you, because that's my goal. Robin, she is happy to be on the blue team, and, and hopefully she feels she has something to prove. But we don't need no controversy. We don't need no yelling, none of that kind of thing. Like, if you're going to do that, get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to stab anyone's back. That's not no. me. I'm not a fucking backstabber. After another team shakeup, Robin, let's go. Both teams hope to leave last night's disappointing dinner service behind them. All right, good morning. Good morning, good morning chef. chef. And focus on what's right in front of them. Oh, crap. It's time for a Hell's Kitchen version of Craps. Uh, I don't know if I like this. What the fuck are we going to do with a crap table? Now, as you can see, we have special dice. Each of you will roll the dice down the table. You must choose an ingredient beginning with that letter. And come up with one stunning dish. Think carefully. It is absolutely critical that the ingredients you call out complement each other. Let's play craps. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I've never played craps for ingredients, but definitely feeling lucky at this point. OK, men, you're going to be up first, yes? Off you go. Big roll. And it is a H. 10 seconds. Heirloom tomatoes? Yes. Heirloom tomato, and they're beautiful right now. It's the key ingredient. It's something we can work with. Come on, blue team. Come on, baby. And you're on a D. Daikon, chef. Daikon. White radish. Really? Daikon. Robin, let's go. D. 10 seconds. Uh, D, 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 D. Fuck me. Uh. I'm thinking protein, protein, protein. Duck, 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 duck. Protein, 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 protein. Duck, 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 duck. Protein, 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 protein. Duck, 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 duck. Protein, 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 protein. Duck, 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 duck. Dragon fruit. <laughs> Holy crap. You said dragon fruit. Yes, yeah, the only thing I can fucking think of. Dragon fruit. What the fuck is dragon fruit? Wow, what a dish. Brian, let's go. Come on, Brian. Come on, baby. And E. E, E. Five seconds, go. Ah, uh, shit. I'm telling you right now, as soon as you're standing there, your mind goes blank. Uh. Time up. Let's go. Ah, uh, blank. Um, edamame. Uh, guys, um, I'm not opening a vegetarian restaurant in Vegas, let me tell you that. The blue team can make a pretty nice salad. Ugh. <laughs> Royce. Get that protein, Come on, Royce. Royce, shoot it out. Come on, right now, we really need a protein. I got bubbles in my stomach, and I'm nervous as hell. Come on, baby. And you're on a C. Three, two, one. Time up. Chicken. Chicken. Wow. <laughs> OK. OK. Let's see what we got. Right, start off with Herlin Tomatoes, Senin Army, Dragon Fruit, Daikon, and Chicken. Blue team, good luck. <laughs> That's probably the worst lineup of ingredients that I've ever seen. What a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> wow. Tiffany, ready? Yes, Chef. Here we go. Thank you, Chef. Up, let's go. Chin on, ladies. Let's go. And C. C. Uh... There's creme fraiche, there's cauliflower, calamari, celery root, celery. How can you go wrong with that? Three, two, one. Chicory. Chicory? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chicory? Oh, what the fuck, dude? Like, really? Barbie, you ready? I'm ready, chef. Here we go. Let's go. Come on, Barbie. Come on, Barbie. What the hell? Please don't have a brain fart. Please don't have a brain fart. Lamb, chef. Lamb. Yeah. Not only 
only do we have a protein, we have an awesome protein. Barbie, Chicory good and job. Lamb, they go good together. All right, now that you got something going on, we could be in trouble. You got a T. Turnips. Turnips, good. Right. Chicory, lamb, turnips, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. B. Brussels sprouts. Last one, okay. off you go. When I get up there, I'm, I'm looking at the components we have, and our dish is kind of coming together as like a nice, like, kind of fall harvest meal. Tea. Truffles, please, truffles. Okay, okay Grace. Good job, good pick. Oh, yeah, like, we've got a classy dish going here. We have this one in the bag. Okay, ladies, there's a quick recap. Chicory, lamb, turnip, Brussels sprouts, and truffle. Okay, you've got 30 minutes to cook one stunning dish. Your time starts now. Off you go. While the women quickly come together. I'll do the chicory. I'll do the lamb. I'll do the Brussels sprouts. I had the truffle. To design their fall harvest meal. Over in the blue kitchen. The fucking dragon fruit. They're still searching for a theme to tie their ingredients together. I, I really don't know what, what, what the fuck we're going to do with dragon fruit, but I'm trying to run through my head, and it, it, it's not easy. You have daikon, dragon yeah, fruit, and edamame. You have three Asians. Hey, we need something to tie them both in and bring it all together. All right, so, let's go. In spite of not knowing exactly where their dish is going to end up, the blue team gets to work. But over in the red kitchen... Oh, my God, we got fresh truffles. Yes. Barbie wants to be involved in every element of the dish. What if we do the turnip puree the way we did the sandwich? last night. Barbie, we need to get that lamb in the pan. But her team wants her to focus on what she's been assigned. The lamb has to get seared immediately. It's going to take the entire time to cook. How about we grill the endive? Barbie, let's get the lamb going. Barbie, like, we have to get the lamb in the pan. Like, no joke. Come on. Dana, relax. It's my thing. I'm good with the lamb. While Barbie stands by her lamb, in the blue kitchen, very nice. Brian has finally fallen for the dragon fruit. I mean, that looks like sushi. You yeah, know what I, mean? I know. Robin opens up the dragon fruit. I'm like, oh, I mean, it's like every planet aligns. We should do some some sort of roll. What are we doing with the dragon fruit? Dragon fruit. We're making uh, a sushi with it. Okay, it's good. Two minutes to go. Does anyone else want to taste the Brussels sprouts? Yeah, please. sure. Don't put them on the plate. What? Jeff will hate those crispy leaves. Don't put them on the plate. They're my favorite ones. 30 seconds to go. You got to start slicing the meat, Barbie. You got to. Chicken's almost ready. It's not going to have much time to rest, though. Justin, I think it's done. Everybody bring all your components to the front. Dragon fruit looks good, guys. Lamb looks great, Barbie. Thank you. Perfect. Royce, be careful with that bad boy. I, I don't think it's ready there. Here it is. Guys, finesse. Five. Four, Let, let's garnish the Take it on. Two, one, and stop. Okay, red team, blue team, are you happy with your dish? Yes, yes chef. chef. Okay, red team, what is it, please? A herb crusted rack of lamb. Underneath, we have some crispy roasted Brussels sprouts and also some braised and Irish chicory. Who cooked the lamb? I did, chef. Mm -hmm. Great job. Dana, come on. I tried to tell you. That lamb's cooked perfectly. Thank um, you, That chef. crust is delicious. Um, Brussels sprouts. Oh. Who done the sprouts? I did. It's the only letdown. It's sort of crunchy. It's just, I don't know. I think a little bit more attention to detail could have gone into the sprouts. You know, if maybe Dana had worried more about her Brussels sprouts than my lamb. What a dumbass. Blue team. Yes, Chef. What is it, please? Chef, we have a, a charred chicken roulade with a dragon fruit vinaigrette, an amami puree, and a daikon sushi roll. The dragon fruit daikon sushi roll. It's delicious. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. And the nami puree. Tough one to get right. But you've nailed it, because it's got that nice, earthy flavor. Good job, guys. Yeah, this is a good job. It's, it's cleverly put together. But um, chicken's slightly overcooked. I saw Roy slicing the chicken way too early. He sliced it piping hot, which is a big mistake because it's dehydrated on top. I shouldn't have sliced chicken too early. I fucked up. Um, this is a tough one. Two very accomplished dishes. It's a tough one. Very tough. There's one dish that has the edge. Congratulations. Blue team. Yes! 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 Good job. Really good job indeed. I feel fucking amazing winning my first challenge with the blue team. I belong on the blue team. Sweet justice, yo.
Blue team, listen carefully. You're going to be spending the next 24 hours in Vegas. <laughs> You'll be staying at the Paris Hotel, right above the prize restaurant. Yes. Gordon Ramsay steak in Vegas. I've arranged a high roller suite. Yes. Yes. Get out of here, get changed. Vegas, baby, Vegas! Yes! Vegas, yes, baby! baby! Ladies, the sprouts for the letdown, undercooked, crunchy, wasn't good enough. Come on, Dana. Burnt, crunchy Brussels sprouts for real, dude? Oh, I'm just so mad. I'm shaking, I'm so mad. While the blue team are off in Vegas having a late, late night, you'll be having a late night as well. Um, in fact, you're going to be up all night because you're going to be pairing a very serious special at a tomorrow night's dinner service. We are doing the most amazing pulled pork. You'll be slow roasting the pork. That's going to take between 12 and 15 hours. You're up for a late night. Kimmy, what's the matter? Nothing. I'm good. Get up to the door. Andy will call you when she's ready. Chef. Yeah, chef. Kimmy, we lost. Big fucking deal. Get over it. I don't know why she needs to cry after every freaking challenge. I fucking want to go to Vegas so bad. I'm pissed off at the fucking crunchy ass Brussels sprouts. She fucking thinks she runs our team, dude. That's her problem. And that's what pisses me off so much. Oh, I just picture her fucking face on that thing, man. Dana thinks she's better than everybody, and I, I just want to wring Dana's neck right now. I'm super fucking pissed. All right, so why don't we use this time as a bonding experience? Vegas! Vegas! Vegas, baby, Go. Vegas! Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my god. Let's do it. Let's go, Vegas, baby. I love Vegas. Yeah, baby. We're going to Vegas! Vegas, Vegas, Vegas! Hey, yeah! How are you, sir? Bonsoir, sous les tons. Welcome to Paris, Las Vegas. Why don't you follow me into the suite? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Right. If the president of this hotel is here greeting us, we're in store for something phenomenal. Oh, oh, you did it right, baby. You did it right. Thank you, chef. This is fantastic. Sushi, lobster, and girls. There was a tall chocolate dessert buffet. There was girls. On the other side of the room, there was a bar, and there was more girls. Then there was food and girls. Honey, I'm home. Hey, you go to Vegas, go big or go home, and Chef Ramsay knows how to go big. Look at the size of those shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> We're all excited. We have no idea where we're going, but we know it's going to be good, and we know it's going to be totally VIP. Lou! Salud! Lou! While the blue team prepares for an exciting night in Sin City, back at Hell's Kitchen, Tiffany... Isn't she cute? ...prepares for a hot date with some pork. I'm going to try my best to just take care of that pig, because he needs me. He'll pattern an ass there. We're going to smell good tonight. Pig and I bonded. You look so happy right now, Tiffany. I'm being serious. Dude, you're gonna like sleep with that fucker tonight or something. Tiffany cannot get enough of this pig. You yep. like in a creepy way. Like she fucking loves this pig. All right, here we go. While the red team gets ready for their long night in Hell's Kitchen, Yo! the blue team is out painting the town. What's happening? Red. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Top. Congratulations. What do I call you, man? Call me Mr. Top. Mr. Call me. Top. Brian was very into carrot top. <laughs> Come here, you mo. Give me a kiss on the face. <laughs> You know, I make props for it, but so I do. So I thought I went just for you guys. This is a chef hat, so when he's yelling at you, <laughs> and, and I, I, can't, I can't hear it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys want to take a picture? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is the lifestyle of the rich and famous. That's my hand on your ass. Who has it better than me right now? I feel like a superstar. So I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm talking about party my ass off. Can we get girls over here? Who does this? Who does this? Yeah, baby! is fucked up. There's this big red button on the side of the grill. And uh, when an hour expires, there's this horrendous alarm that goes off throughout the door. I'm so fucking pissed. And it will not stop ringing until one of us hits that red button so that they check the coals, check the internal temperature of the pig, baste it, flip it. Oh my God. And then starts another hour until uh, the alarm goes off again. I can't believe they're gonna do this all night. Uh, 
hit the button. I'm tired now. <sighs> this is by far the worst punishment I've had to do since I've been here. Does it have to be that loud? We could be in Vegas right now. After being on pig patrol throughout the night. About ready? The red team wakes up to more work. Really tired. We're really exhausted from last night, but we're all just trying to stay awake. Tiffany. Yeah, what up? Barbie. Good. 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 Christina. Good. If we just knock out this prep, we'll be ready for service tonight. Blue team's back. Hello, ladies. Vegas. Vegas. Hello, Chef Christina. <laughs> Hello. What is the matter with you? It's a mask. Fuck, man. The blue team is completely energized by their trip to Vegas. Make it happen, guys. Unfortunately, the team's newest member. Wow, you guys totally do the, everything different. Is a little confused. The guys do different things and then red team, so I'm so confused right now. Are you guys putting your whipped cream in a squeeze bottle? We don't. I do it different over there. I don't like to pour the whole mix in there. I don't really give a fuck what they put up on the red team. You are now blue. You are no longer red. We do not have vaginas. I trust you guys, so I'm going to see how it rolls. Ladies, let's go. Yes, chef. yes, chef. Blue team lineup. Chef. Yes, chef. So, I expect this to be our best service yet. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Tonight, there will be guests once again at our chef tables. OK, in the blue kitchen. On the chef table, the winner of season nine, American Idol, Lee Duise. With the season 10 finalist, Hayley Reinhardt. Uh, ladies, in the red kitchen, you'll have one of the greatest soccer players. No way. That's right, to ever play the game. You have David Beckham. I don't get starstruck. I, I truly don't. But what girl doesn't think David Beckham is smoking hot? Even me, I, I like women, and I think he's smoking hot. Let's go. Gotcha. Get on your sections. Everything's good? Yep. Let's go, ladies. Woo! Woo, woo. Let's go. James. Yes, chef. Open up kitchen, please. Let's go. OK. For tonight's dinner service, both teams are excited to host their VIP guests. Welcome nice back, my darling. Good to see you. Are you good? You too. Yes, I'm very well. Enjoy. I'm yes. Well. But in the red kitchen. There's David Beckham. You are yeah. shitting me, dude. He's so hot. The excitement is a little overwhelming. When David Beckham arrives, I'm just like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. He rode in on a rainbow, carried by a unicorn, eating a cupcake. He is a magical creature. Absolute pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you very much. How are you, bud? Yeah. Good to see you. Uh, Dana, please, look yes. off, I guess. Yes, chef. Who's going to be waiting on David Beckham? That will be me. Thank you very much. We have an appetizer special, which is a pulled pork pizza. I'll definitely try that. All right, give us just one minute, and we'll get that for you. <sighs> chef table first. Yes, to flatbread. Yes, yes chef. chef. While the red team gets to work on a very important table of appetizers in the blue kitchen. On order, table one, two scallops. Straight after, look at me, chef's table. Two flatbread. Yes, yes, chef. It's up to Clemenza on the fish station to get the dinner service off to a good start. I got two scallops coming right now. I think after yesterday, we're on a roll. I'm feeling really confident at this point in time. Oh, dear. Hey, hey, all of you, hey, come here. Look at the state of that. Really? It's still pissing water now, look. There's no excuse to be fucking scallops up at this point in the game. Honestly, Clemenza? Honestly? Seriously, guys? Yeah. I'm getting really pissed off. What's the fuck? Clemenza, what's the deal, buddy? Come on, talk to me. Scallop in the window. Coming through. Two scallop up. Service, please. Clemenza has quickly rebounded and delivered acceptable scallops. And over in the red kitchen, Dana is hoping to score with her kitchen's flatbread. Fuck me, dude. Dana, are you good? I need you to work me a new pizza. I got it. I'll work it. I'll work it. I'll work it. Don't worry. No rush. David's pizza is this big, like, mangled mess. And he's sitting right there, like, what the hell is going on over there? Kimmy, I can do this. Coming behind. 
Oh, fuck. This oven is just not cooperating. I go over and I put the peel in to turn it, and same fucking thing happens to me. And I'm like, oh my god. Fuck. It's stuck. Let's make another one. <laughs> we were fumbling like we'd never even been in a kitchen before. Hungry? Yes. Please, please work this time. All right, Dana. It's good. Yay. Hang this for me, please. Thank God. Third time's a charm. Enjoy it. It's really good. With the Beckhams enjoying their flatbread. Two flatbread, table 63. Yes, chef. Two scallops, two lobster spaghetti. How long? One flatbread coming right behind, chef. Service, please. The red team tries to stay focused on the rest of their diners. Next ticket, ladies. And over in the blue kitchen. On order, chef's table. Two flatbread, how long? If it's not working, get it out. If it's not working, get it out, man. There are more mystifying flatbread issues. Get rid of that, man. Get rid of that. Damn get rid it. of it. It's broken 90 fucking pizza. Get rid of it. What happened to that? Broke chef. We broke your pizza? Oh, come on. Oh, not good. It's just like you've all given up. That's going to stick in there. Look at the Lord rip. Go. It's going to stick in there. Uh. This is my first night cooking with the blue team. Do you want me to help you do the flatbreads? Watch that pizza. And the ship is definitely sinking, but I am not going down. Flatbread working hard, guys. Hello, Robin. Flatbread, I'm cutting. Let's go. Flatbread. Good. With Robin taking the lead, the VIPs in the blue kitchen mm. are finally singing the praises of their flatbread. It's good. Meanwhile, the red team has continued to push out appetizers. Service, please. And all they need to move on to entrees. Scallops, how long? Behind. Is a perfect order of scallops from Tiffany. Tiffany. Yes, chef. Those scallops are cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. I've got these scallops down. I know what's up. I'm just going to give myself a pat on the back. Good job, Tiffany. Hi, right, ladies. I've yes, never had the appetizers leave that smoothly. Keep it going. Well, let's go. Yes, chef. Thanks to Tiffany's stellar scallops, all the diners on the red side have received their appetizers. These are right. Meanwhile, over in the blue kitchen, risotto garnish will be a minute. A leader is emerging. Thank you. Robin is vocal. Robin's calling times. She's calling orders. She just impressed the shit out of me. You ready? I'm walking. Got let's it. Go. Risotto. With Robin steering the ship, service please. The blue team has finished most of their appetizers. Three Wellington, two seat bus, one New York strip. How long? Wellington walking. Now it's up to Royce on meat to keep the flow going on entrees. Unbelievable. Hey, all of you, come here. Three different Wellingtons, part mid rare, part medium, and that one's on the a medium to medium well. And you're expecting me to put that out on the same table? Oh, I'll fix it, Chef. Really, Royce? Unacceptable. Sorry, unacceptable. Royce! Yes, Chef. I flipped the tickets. Yes, Chef. Can I go two pork, two New York strip, one card? How long? Four minutes. Unbelievable. Royce has no idea what the fuck's going on. It's like a fucking ostrich with his head underneath the fucking stand. Two pork, two New York. How long, Royce? The two New Yorks are down. They got eight minutes. You kidding me, man? You screwed the three Wellington. Yes. So flip the ticket. Yes, chef. You said four minutes. Yes, chef. Now you're saying eight. I need five minutes, chef. Royce is in a funk. He's all over the place. He can't seem to fucking bounce back. Royce, hold on. Five minutes, chef. Still five minutes. It's just five minutes every time I look at you. I just You said in... five minutes ago. Then four minutes, chef. Hey, you, come here, you. Hey, you, you, come here. You stay there. Come here, you. Come here. Hey, all of you, fucking come here. Jeez. This is not good at all. Uh, Brian, I'm done. I've had enough. I've got Lee and Haley on the chef's table. I've David Beckham and his son in there. I don't know what's going on. It's like you lost it. Have a fucking meeting here. Get a fucking grip. And I swear to God, when you walk back through that fucking door, change your attitude or fuck off. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, yes, chef. Get it out now, you fuckers. Yes, chef. Let's go, Robin. And it's only me left in my kitchen. And I'm like a deer in headlights, like. Come on, Robin. Let's get the momentum. Let's keep going. Come on. You got two spaghetti working, yes? Yes, chef. I got two okay. spaghetti's working right now, chef. Okay, you got two risotto started already? Yes, chef. I got it right there on the side. <laughs> oh, man, I can't. So, boys, please fucking take a couple deep breaths and get your ass back in here now. To get the two risotto ready as well, too. Yes, okay. While Robin is forced into a solo performance, the idols and the rest of the diners on the blue side continue to wait for food. I think they have bread. <laughs> yeah. 
But over in the red kitchen, service, please. The women have served over half their entrees. I love the Wellington. And Chef Ramsay is hoping that Barbie on meat. Coming down behind. And Tiffany on fish. Coming up with the fish. You have the garnish for sea bass? Yep, right here behind you. Continue to deliver perfectly cooked food. Sea bass, that's a cod. That was actually ordered. Hey, all of you, come here. I asked some three pork, two Wellington, one sea bass. I get three pork, two Wellington, and one cod. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. I have five perfectly cooked pieces of meat on that order. How could you not know the difference between the cod and the sea bass? Come on, what are you doing? Hey, Tiffany. Yes, chef. Get the fucking sea bass in. Yes, chef. I got it, I got it. Don't worry about it. That's a cod. That's a cod. That's a well, cod. What's that then? Isn't that sea bass? Whoops. Your mind must be somewhere else. If you're mistaken, twice, cod for sea bass. And do you know what hurts? A great start. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. OK, yeah, so my fish fucked up the whole order well, but you know what? I'll put another one on. It'll be done in three minutes, OK? Hot, chef. Here. Fuck me. Finally. The red team has managed to recover from Tiffany's fish mix-up. Service, please. And over in the blue kitchen, Two pork walking. the men are back and Royce on meat and Clemenza on fish Coming through. are ready to prove that Chef Ramsay's pep talk did not fall on deaf ears. What the fuck is that? All of you, come on. Hey, psst, come here. I am so fucking pissed off. Royce, look, look, it's like a doorstop. It'll take them all fucking year to eat that. How dry that is. Stressful. Even squeezing it, I can't get juice out of it. Sorry. Royce works at the steakhouse. She should really be able to pump these meats out. And I, I mean, I'm really losing it at this point. I'll fix it, Chef. Hey, hold on. It gets worse. Clemenza, look at his burnt. Look at the state of that. Look at the color of it. Clemenza just can't fucking get the hang of it. And he's just so confused and lost and stuck and checked out. It's a fucking nightmare. Hey, you. Hey, look. You look like a slob. Your jacket's all undone. You're cooking like a donkey. I just look at me. Ready to go home? No way, chef. Get a grip. Yeah, chef. While Clemenza's cod and Royce's pork chops failed to make the grade, over in the red kitchen, I got pork chops, chef. Walking to the meatballs. Barbie and Kimmy are hoping their entrees will score high marks with David Beckham. Then the serve chef table, please. Yes? Yes, chef. There we go. All right. Meatballs and spaghetti. Wow. Thank you. And the pork chop. Thank you. It's really good. David Beckham liked my pork chop. I made that pork chop. I'm cooking meat. I'm in my element again. I'm doing it right. Two pork chef. The pork and the Wellington will cook perfectly. Thank you, chef. Keep it going. Yes, chef. Thanks to Barbie's perfect run on meat, the women are nearly finished with their entrees. Guys, we're almost there. Two more tickets. But over in the blue kitchen, I want two pork, two New York strip. Yes, chef. It's a completely different story, as they are still attempting to serve their first table of entrees. Two New York strip, two pork chop. 10 minutes, chef. 10 minutes. Oh, fuck. 10 minutes. Chef Ramsay wasn't happy about that. Honestly, I don't know where to go. Sorry, chef. Blue team. Cluster fucking five. Hey, look at me. Hey, stop there. Look at me. Four. Stop. All of you. Three. Honestly, I swear to God. Two. I'm um, seriously. One. You, 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 you. Come here. Look at you. Come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tables. Come here. Nine. We look at the women's side, and they completed their service. You, 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 come here. Dana, stand dessert. I'm embarrassed the red team has to come help us. Hey, blue team, we're manning up. We're going to double up on the stations to get this machine going. Let's go. How long on a sea bass pork chop? The blue team are pathetic. The whole blue kitchen was in disarray. Just three, just three. I already got one order here. Come on, come on, Brian, don't waste food. There's nothing organized and together. 
Clearly they have a problem cooking and communicating. You're not counting orders. You're not Fish, counting orders. Listen, you're really going to argue with him right now? No, 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 help him. Try and help him. Tiffany talks to me like she's up here and I'm down here. Do me a favor, though. Don't, don't do that, stop, okay? Stop, Because you know that. what? This is why you guys get listen, fucked what, up. Don't tell us what we do wrong. Don't tell us what we do wrong. Stop, stop, stop. It took every bit of everything that I have inside me, not to turn around and shove her head into the fryer. I'm not talking. I'm just cooking. It's all good. You guys, we're, we're good. good. We're, we're good. really freaking we're out. Good. Ted, we're here to help, not make it worse for him. It's not the time and the place to, to fight. We're here to help out the blue kitchen, and I'm just trying to organize, like, so we can get some of this food out. After 2.2 2 strip, I got a strip and sea bass, VIP. With Christina leading the way. Follow me with that sauce, Royce. One strip, sauce is behind me, chef. The red team takes control of the entrees and all of the diners. Isn't that great? That is so good. And the VIPs are finally served. This is really good. It's my favorite. Ladies, clean up, please. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yeah, yeah clean, clean up. up. Hey, ladies, come here, quickly. Yes, yes chef. chef. That's one of the best services you've ever had. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Uh, really good job. And clearly, you won. Thank well you done. Chef. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Great job. Thank you, ladies. Uh, Good job. Way to just be present at the table. Yeah, we deserve to win. You know, I'm feeling great not having to put somebody up for elimination. I feel really good about that. Hey, guys, come here. Yes, chef. Come here, come here. How do I say this? The only person who did well in the men's team was a woman. Honestly, seriously, Royce, overcooked pork, Brian, flatbreads, you were screwed before you even started. Clemenza, yes, watching you cook tonight was watching a car crash. The women in the red team blew you away. Go up to the dorms, come back to me with two individuals up for elimination. Get out of here. Yeah, leave, yes, me, leave me alone. Get out of there. Oh, man. Chef Ramsay pretty much obliterated our souls. I'll start. I, I have to put up rice for the issues with the, with the pork and the beef. Um, and then I have to put up Clemenza for the issues with scallops. Seriously, nothing against any of you, but I'm fucking angry. Yeah, I fucked up two, three orders of scallops. whoop the fucking do See my fucking ass cheeks. I don't give a flying fuck. I got a lot of drive left in me, and I ain't going anywhere. I don't think I deserve to go home. I got to say Royce and Brian. I had scallops come back, but I basically bailed out that entire flat I'd bread. I you came over station. and fucking, yeah. I had three issues, so out of that, to me, versus a shit ton of scallops and flatbreads that we couldn't even get out to even get appetizers out. So that's why I'm putting up Brian and Clemente. I'm not the weakest link. We know this. Everybody fucking knows this. Gordon Ramsay knows this. So it's like, fuck. Uh, my sister's is really hard to make because it's my, only, my first day here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, you got to put at least one up, Robin. This sucks. You know what I'm saying? I hate doing this shit. Go, Robin. Make a decision. Yeah. You don't have a choice. You gotta make a call. Make a fucking decision. Just be decisive. Robin, you gotta do it. Two th Brian and Royce, I tied it up. So why don't we have Chef make a fucking decision? No, 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 no way. Okay, no then. way. I think tonight's gonna be the craziest night, the most emotional, craziest night we've ever seen. And anybody here's got a shot at going home. Ladies, well done. Thank you, Thank you chef. chef. Robin. Yes, Chef. First nominee for the blue team, and why, please? Our first nominee was Royce. Royce. Royce, he let the team down. Second nominee, and why? The second nominee was Clemenza. Clemenza. Yes, Chef, because it is scallops. Royce, Clemenza, step forward. Royce. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I beat myself up for my mistakes, and I keep coming back. Who beat you up? No, no, I mean physically. I beat myself up for my mistakes. <laughs> and I walk prouder every day in here and try to do better. And I keep trying to do better and get to that level of perfection that you yeah. want. I'm opening Gordon Ramsay's steak this year, yeah? Not in 2025. So, Manza, stay of you. You've got more fucking food on your jacket than you served tonight on plates. 
Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I've been on the top of almost every challenge. I, I can cook. I do have the passion. I do have the hunger for it. For some reason tonight, I just had a mind fuck on scallop. Big boy, I think you're done. No way, Chef. My decision is... Clemenza, Royce, both of you give me a jackets. Let's go, Royce. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Royce. Yes, Chef. Give me that jacket. Your time is done. Give my regards to Ralph. Get out of here. Of course I'm not OK with leaving. I know I'm better than everybody else. I came here driven, focused. I pushed myself. I don't think I deserve to be standing here. Clemenza, give me your jacket. You are really disappointing. I expected so much more. I know you did, Jeff. I'm bigger than that. You're a filthy mess. Get a clean fucking jacket on yes. and get back in line. Yes, see. Oh. Yes, see. Come back. Oh. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. Try to stay fucking clean. I will, Chef. Just for one service. Yes, chef. You're like a pig rolling around in shit all day long. <laughs> Oh, yes, Chef. All of you, just have a look around. We started off with 18. We're now down to nine. Good night. Night, Chef. Night, Chef. Night, chef. Night, chef. Night, chef. I thought I was done. I really thought I was done. I'm glad I'm here. You know, I'm literally, uh, I'm glad I got the fucking second chance. And then it's not going to be a third chance. This is it. Do or die. Let's make a break. We're down like 50%. I can't fucking believe it. Like, it's eight people that I have to work harder than. I need to carry my confidence with me and just fucking make it happen. Royce came in promising a Rolls Royce service. But instead, his service was like a broken down car. Time to send Royce to the junkyard. <laughs>